Hey friends and welcome to today's talk about vaccination. This time I will introduce you to the basics of vaccination. So first what is vaccination? Vaccination is also referred to as an artificial way to activate the immune system. So the patient is injected with a vaccine and this vaccine contains a weakened form of a pathogen or the inactivated version. The injection with the vaccine is actually quite harmless since the virus for example is weakened and, and does not trigger severe immune responses. Let's assume the patient gets vaccinated and through this vaccine parts of a virus will make it into the body. Now the adaptive immune system gets activated and specific antibodies are produced against the invader. Let's say now the infectious disease with the same pathogen comes from outside and enters the body. Since we already have antibodies against that, they recognize the invader and with the help of other cells deactivate these pathogenic invaders. That was just the basic overview about vaccination and we will jump into some details soon. First I'd like to show you two different types of immunity. There is active immunity and passive immunity. In terms of active immunity, we inject either a killed or a weakened form of the pathogen. When we speak about passive immunity, antibodies are directly injected. These work immediately. However, in case of the active immunity, it takes a long time and the body needs to develop the immunity first. When we speak about vaccination, we usually have the active immunity in mind. And this is what I'm going to present you now. When the patient gets vaccinated, pathogenic antigens enter the body. Now, a specific type of white blood cells is mobilized and these plasma cells will now start to produce antibodies against this specific invader. These antibodies are capable of binding to the surface of the pathogen and then macrophages or natural killer cells can eliminate those pathogens. Additionally, memory cells are produced. These remain in a silent state and just remember the type of pathogen. Once the same type of pathogen invades the body, so now we speak of the natural infectious disease, the memory cells get activated and they recognize the pathogen. These memory cells start producing antibodies specific against our pathogens. Further, they can recruit a whole defense machinery consisting of different types of cells which will eliminate these pathogens. Because of the memory cells acting so rapidly, in most cases the patient doesn't even know he got infected. The adaptive immune system in most cases deals easily with the pathogen and gets rid of it. This is how a vaccine can make you immune against a certain infectious disease. So really people, go out and vaccinate. That's already it. So these are just the basics about vaccination. If you want to go a bit more into detail, I'll just put two videos in the video description, which might help you if you have to deep dive further into the matter. Otherwise, I just thank you for watching and say goodbye.